It's hello from a very sunny Midlothian here, East House Lily versus Ormiston Primrose, and is East of Scotland League Second Division. We've been here, Dave and I, um, probably since '97. Yeah. Uh, we've also got uh, important people that have been there a long time. Uh, Davy Arthur, Steve Hay, who's an ex-player as well, right. and is there, ex-goalkeeper. All right. So. Uh, so it's about pretty much a, it's about a family. We're not, a, we're not a committee and a management team. We're, a, we're just a group of. You're a big family, but you're also part of the community as well. Eh? I, That's I'm what's a important. Part of the community, Aye. Uh, absolutely. And, and we've now, you know, we've now got a SFA license. We've, we've built this place, yeah. which was basically a, a park with a rope round it. Right. So if, I don't know if you look at it now. It's yeah, like a lot of you walk around. Yeah. So, and it's hard. It's hard, but it's also hard to try and. Get youngsters to come and join yeah. the committee and be yeah. part of it because otherwise the clubs will disappear. The club will disappear, that's right. And you're relying on volunteers and mm. people like that, don't aye, you? Aye. So I was interested in the, sort of the miners' welfare sort of aspect because a lot of teams are either where we are we're mining clubs or uh -huh. from mining because the mines have disappeared, but you've still got that link with oh, the aye, miners' absolutely. welfare. So. Aye, absolutely, we're, we're East House is really miners' welfare and football club, that's what we are. Yeah. And we're uh, linked to the miners' welfare uh, club along the road. Yeah. Any kind of, kind of social functions we always have along right. there. Uh, so it's still important with that link oh, with the miners, absolutely. even though the mines have long no, gone. Aye, absolutely, it's been part of that, that community, absolutely. I don't think we would ever get rid of that, certainly. No, no, uh, certainly no. not. No, that's a good thing. Hey, that's me just in the ground there. Um, there was the guys at the gate there, nice fit of the guys. And uh, I'm just going to have a wee walk around, they've got a nice wee uh, season enclosure over there. Look at these grounds, you're right behind the goals there, look at that. <laughs> they've even got a wee... Yeah, they have to bring the goals back there, see that? Look at that, brilliant, eh? <laughs> I like it with that fencing as well, it's got this sort of wire mesh. Yeah, there's nothing worse than the boss coming skating up your, under your feet there. So, um, you just have to watch your high balls. <laughs> there we go. Very good, nice wee stand there. Got a wee bit for the disabled bit of the front there. And then, yeah, it's very good. Got a good view from up here. <laughs> Folks, football grounds with hedges, look at that one. Huh. Right, this side, there's actually a, a raised banking up here, so you actually get quite a, a good view. I'm just walking up. Oh, look at that shadow, eh? The sun is <laughs> really strong today. Um, shouldn't complain though, there's hardly a wind. Uh, and look at the views you get over to Edinburgh there, Arthur Seat. And the Pentland Hills, lovely. Talking about scenic grounds, and I must admit, that's quite a scenic ground, this. And there's a dugout there. Oh, unusual dugouts. I always think there's never a, a dugout that's the same, or very seldom, is there? There we go. So on the footballing side, uh, how are you finding the, the, the league today? Was that your 11th place, eh? Uh, our 11th place, uh, we've, we've only played 10, ga 10 games, won 5, lost 5. Right. Uh, the start of the season was a bit, uh, a bit up and down. Right. Up and down the start of the season, we were missing quite a lot of bodies. Boys are, boys are on holiday, etc, 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 etc. And then once we got everybody back, we went on a... We went on a decent run, I think, seven, seven eight games. Yeah. I, th I think we've, we've won them all, we've only been beat once, oh, uh, which, which is good, so I so. A bit yeah. hard, hard task today, almost, and we're always, we're always a sticky hard team to play against, so. Uh, we're, we're just going to have to, <laughs> we're, just, we're just going to have to, to grind it out, the part's going to be soft today. It's a tough league, because you've got teams like Bonus of Eric and Armadale, yeah. I've seen play and they're good, so it's a tough league, isn't it? Aye, aye, it's a, it's a tough league, isn't it? <laughs> 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 it is a tough league. Uh, like I say, you've got the boys, you've got the likes of Bones, who have only been beat once this season. Oh, know, uh, and then you've Armadale, the likes of uh, Dalkeith, Edinburgh yeah. College, yeah. Uh, Thornton Hibbs, oh, some, uh, Stirling University too. Uh, yeah. some, some really good sides, but it felt us all, all the way right, right down the league. Uh, yeah. Anybody can beat anybody yeah. on, on their day. So right. again, it's just it's about coming, coming the day, getting the, getting the three points, and then just just getting down the road again. Huh? Fantastic stuff. Thanks very much. No problem. Thank you. Uh, I was speaking to the East Coast, a lot of you guys, and you're saying this is like a derby, even though oh, yeah. it's just in the, the, the Midlothian. 
So it's, it's a cringe game, isn't it? Oh, it's for us, aye, because we've been toiling regarding fixtures. But there's no love loss between <laughs> both teams, yeah? Yeah. Because uh, most of the boys know each other. And of course, there's a must win game, which you've no debate to start, nah. eh? And, uh... There's plenty of games to go, but we need to start picking up points. Yeah. Um, we scored goals, but we're conceding too many. Right, so it's a case of shutting the door, but scoring aye, as well. Aye. And, uh, be, like the day, the day there'll not be much football gets played because it, it's, it's got to be treated like a derby. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So, well, that's, that's what I'm hearing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The referee will need to be hopefully not too naughty with the kids. Right, aye. So, uh, if you get a strong referee, it'll be alright. If it didn't, it'll be a bit of shambles, I think. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much. Cheers. So, you're coming along with the game with you. Who are you going to support? East Houses. East Houses, and what do you think the score's going to be? 2 1. 2 1 East Houses. Yeah. Yeah, great. Who did score? Hilly. Hilly. Hilly, right. Good man. <laughs> what do you think the score's going to be today then? To East Houses. First thing, this is like a derby, even though it's middle of the and east of the end, it's seen as a, a, a sort of derby, a lot of rivalry. So it'll be a tough game today. be a very tough game today. Um, looking forward to it. The guys haven't played for four weeks, so yeah. looking forward to it. It's a good game to get us back up and running as far as uh, games are concerned. So we're really looking forward to it. And as you noticed, East House uh, Lily are in the uh, red. Kick off of the Primrose. There's a chance here for East House Oh! Oh, that was close. It's our corner. Right, first corner of the game to East House. Oh, it's a header, good save. First chance to East House A's. Now we cross over. No, not all the way. Oh, shot here. Oh! Again, that wasn't far away. With that sun, I think it'll be a case of shooting inside because uh, look, look, look at the shadows there. With the whole sun, the goalie's got his cap on. Uh, um, and so I think there'll be shoot inside policy. Oh, the, oh, oh, the goal <laughs> to, to the head earlier. Kick it outside the box, a uh, chance here for all, Miss Hunt. Oh, it's a low one. A wide of the goalie, though. Oh, there's a chance here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, just while the player was there. Oh. Oh, oh, Jeff, uh, that's a big hit. Go away with that. Oh, 
Oh, schau hier. Oh, wie tief. An amazing first half because I thought uh, East Houses had probably more chances. They started better, but it's obviously scoring goals and Olmsen got that goal. Yeah, I, it was a it was a well taken goal, but they should have had at least three before that. 
They, uh, I, I think they're just missing out the midfield, which is which is silly. Just long, the, 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 the hoping for a long ball every time, and it's uh, the midfield. Yeah. Just, they're missing them out completely. Where yeah. you know the uh, midfield are producing better chances. So it's just a little bit of luck just now. Right. I think that they're winning a lot. To be totally honest. Yeah. yeah. Have you been causing trouble at the corners though? Uh, that number four and four. Yeah. yeah you, you get a few oh, headers in. You know? they set, they're always got to be good at set pieces because they're big lads. The, the, the four of them that come up from the back are big yeah. lads, so they're uh, they're always a threat yeah. at uh, set pieces. I haven't seen much of uh, East Houses to be honest, uh, but they they're producing some really good chances. I think next half they look the fitter of the two sides as well, so perhaps yeah. they may. Uh, blossom in the second half, I think, the way they're playing. Hey, thanks very much. Okay. okay, tell me about Black Diamond Radio, is it? You're here yeah, reporting in the local, game? Yeah, it's a local community radio station based in Midlothian. The studio's in Newton Grange, and we try and get out and about covering games, Midlothian, uh, East Lothian as well. So we basically try to cover as many of the, the local teams as we can. Um, I'm here at East Houses today. We've got other reporters, and we get people from the clubs also to, uh, you know, to phone in and let us know what's going on and, and do reports. So if, if there's anybody out there yeah. who wants to get in you know big up their team yeah. uh, come on at black diamond fm uh, just look online you black diamond and you'll uh, you'll find links to the sports programs and you can uh, come on and tell us all about your team your club oh very good and what do you think of the first half i mean uh, i've really enjoyed this it's been great yeah. there's been loads of chances i was just saying when i did my half-time report there the only thing that uh it's surprising is that it's only 1 0 because I mean it could easily have been 3 3. Yeah. It's been a cracking big game. It has been, yeah. As so Three many as you are, I'm very lucky. Yeah. I get to go to lots and lots of games. I'm at, I'm at, at least one game a week. And uh, these games in Midlothian, it's a great, uh, Midlothian, East Lothian, it's a great place to watch local football. My name's Derek Hall. Uh, I, I'm uh, attached to the Wednesday Live and the Saturday Live sports programmes. Saturday Live 3 till 6 on Black Diamond FM, and Wednesday. At six to eight, and uh, remember to tune in to Nori's YouTube channel as well. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, well, that was interesting. As always, it's uh, amazing the people you meet at the football uh, Black Diamond Radio. Now, uh, that's the second half just kicked off, so back to the game. And it's a free kick to Ormiston here. And, oh. Chance here. Oh. Ball's not away. Oh, here, one, two, I know. Oh. oh. Save for the goal there. Another chance for these houses. Oh, the chance here. Oh, oh. oh good save there. Yes, 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 I've got Taylor. Well, I've got Taylor. Yes, this is coming. Oh, come on. 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 Oh, come on
but there's certainly been a few this game. Oh. 
Oh, that's full time. Two so What a game, good game. Get some reactions. Substitute. Well, I don't know about yourself, but I mean, that was a good game for the neutral. But I don't know about it. For, I mean, both sides could have won that game, really. I both, uh, both sides could have won the game. Uh, I think they had the better chances. Or half chances that they won probably six games of football. Uh, again, it's just one of, yeah. one of the things with the, especially with the, with the conditions of the park and everything, it's just, just, just a default to us. It's just one of, one of the games. I think you started the first half with the better team. Uh, and probably uh, they scored against them on the play but in the second half you could maybe say the same thing that I thought Ormiston started off the second half better, aye. you know I, I was, we, we, we had a bit of change, change the shape in the second half and I maybe took the boys 10-15 minutes to, 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 to get going again again I credit to Ormiston they, they, they defended well but they've got, got some good defenders and, and, and big guy big yeah. guy Kerr he's done, done his job so Ah, it's just one, one of the things, and we uh, uh, dust ourselves down and go and go again. Yeah. Okay. Well, as I say, it was a good game for the neutral. Uh, it could have been five all, you know. Ah, <laughs> That's what I mean. Ones, you know? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway. For the neutral, that was a great game. I don't know about yourselves though. It was. I mean, you could have won it, but you could have lost it as well. It was, ah, a, it was a end to end throwing game. Anybody could have won it. Yeah. Used to see his goalie. I'd probably see his man of the match because he's he's had three wonder saves to keep keep the score. Eh? I'm disappointed that we didn't get the three points, but the position we're in in the league, you'll take any point you can get, eh? So ah, it's, it's one of them. I thought um, East Houses were better in the first half, and you maybe scored against her on the play, but you could say the same. Uh, yeah, the first half, we yeah. kind of had a game plan with the, with the, with the sun being a, an issue, just about putting the ball on the top. It wasn't yeah. going to be pretty football the first half for us, so no. we kind of said that at half time that you'll probably find it will change round to the, with them defending with the, the sun and rise, so we could get the, the ball down and that. But I probably went. I draw as a fair result in the end, I would say. Yeah. But I'm not doing this point for yourselves, though, because obviously you're in that position in a sort of religion zone, you'll be looking to uh, build on that. And, and, yeah, you know. yeah, definitely. Yeah. This, is, you know, this is always a hard place to throw, and we always yeah. kind of do well up here. We normally end up playing playing quite well up here. So, uh, yeah, I'm a much needed point, but I would have preferred three, but we'll, we'll, take, we'll take one. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Tight mates! <laughs> you got them nice and clean, though. Well done. Oh, bye. Cheers. Well, what a great game, eh? Well, first of all, thanks to everybody at East House, Lolly. Very warm welcome. Uh, as, as Joel was getting these sort of places, um, a really good game. <laughs> both sides could have won that. Uh, plenty of chances by both teams, both uh, hit the woodwork. I thought the first half, uh, East House were the better team, more chances, and probably or, uh, Prim almost and Primo scored against her on the play, but it's all been scoring goals, and they really defended their their uh, lead in the second half thought they were the better team in the second half and you can maybe argue that East House has scored against the run of play but I mean incredible goals uh, goal mouth incidents plenty of tackles I think it was about seven bookings so it was a very competitive game shall we say but I thoroughly enjoyed uh, my wee visit to the new battle campus which is not actually in East Houses is it but uh, still the home of East Houses Lolly and uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And uh, as I say, it was great speaking to everybody. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like what I do, please support me by liking, sharing. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me. And until the next time, I'll see you behind the goals.